Hello, I'm Captain Don Martin of Striper Hunters. I'm also the host of Arizona Outdoors Today. On today's show, we're going to talk about something that's important to all boaters. We're going to talk about the drain plug. How many of you have never left your drain plug out of your boat? I can tell you that in my 30 plus years of boating, I've done it many, many times. Almost sunk my Skeeter bass boat the first day I took it out. And I have a jet boat that I have left the plugs out in. So it's problematic for all boaters, but we got a solution. I got with me today a gentleman by the name of Mr. George Wise, and he's the owner and founder of Boatwise Products. And he's gonna tell you about a product that I think is gonna revolutionize the problem about people leaving plugs out of their boat. George, welcome. Hi, thanks, Don. Okay, George, tell me, how, how'd you get involved in all this? Well, uh, several years ago, I had a good friend that did a lot of pro bass fishing throughout the state of Arizona. And uh, I'd always ask him how things went. Well, one particular time I asked him how things went on his uh, fishing tournament, and he said, not too good. And I said, uh, what happened? He says, well, I put my boat in the water, and I forgot to put my drain plug in. I said, well, what'd you do? He said, well, basically, I uh, turned around, head for the shore, got to the shore, but unfortunately, there was so much water in the boat, when I got it on the trailer, I couldn't do both at the same time, so I had to get up, go to my pickup. By that time, the back end of the boat and the trailer were both untowable out of the water, so I went to the local marina, had them take the trailer and tow the boat and trailer out of the water. Oh, wow. So it was, you know, I'm sure everybody's had that experience. Sure. I, I mean, you, you, <laughs> if you own a boat, you're going to forget the plug. I mean, it's just a fact of life. Yeah, so, we all do it. That's yeah. Right. So, so that got you thinking. Yeah, it got me thinking, and I said, you know, his name is uh, Gilbert, by the way. I just mentioned his name. And um, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to design something that you can put on your boat Regardless of what happens, you forget your plug, whatever, you're going to be able to fish all day, whatever you're doing, and you're not going to have a problem. So that's how we came up with the original idea and concept. Okay, and, and what is it? What's your idea? Well, the idea is we invented a, a drain plug that would not let water enter the boat if the actual screw-in plug was forgotten to be put in when people put the boat in the water. Right. And uh, that was a great idea. When we first designed it, uh, a lot of people say, well, we love your product. But the other issue we have, they said, is we get a lot of stuff on our boat when we drain it sometimes, like people mm -hmm. like yourself. And you sure. guys, you, and I said, well, what do you do? I said, well, we take a piece of wire or whatever, and we ram it up in the hole on the trailer when the boat comes out of the water and get it to drain out. So sure. you have a great product, but the way it's designed, we can't do that with yours. And I said, uh, yeah, you can, and I'll show you a little bit later how it's possible without sure. any special tools or any requirements. So. so so you come up with this thing and, and this is what we have here in front of us. Got You got two models but you actually make three. Correct. We have brass uh, and chrome with the uh, oval shaped flange, three hole mounting flange and the uh, plastic is made for most of your uh, newer bass boats, the two, two screw oval mounting flange. Okay. Pretty straightforward. And, and for the average guy with a with a newer model boat, how long is it going to take him to put that in? Uh, normally about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Now today you installed them on my 1987 Chico river boat and there were some issues. So it took a little bit longer, but you still were able to make the thing work. Here's some footage of the installation process. It was easy. It was quick. It didn't take a lot of tools and just about anybody can do it. However, if you want it installed, take it to any marine shop. They can put it in for you 15 minutes. We're going to take it to the Lake Mead, and we're going to dump that joker in the lake, and we're going to see if, in fact, it works like you claim it works, that no water is going to come into the back of that boat. Don, I'm expecting 100% success. Yeah. Now, <laughs> just, to, just to kind of go back a little bit, every day I power wash my jet boat. After every trip, we power wash it. We got debris, we got fishing worms, anchovy parts, yeah. and, and part of your product has a screen on it. But... You've invented a way with this with this plug that allows us to basically clean our boats and make sure everything's flushed out of the boat. Show me that. Show me how that yeah, works. Yeah, Don, this is the uh, patented design. Uh, this is the normal plug-in that unscrews right. that we sometimes forget to put in, right. as we talked about earlier. Right. And uh, this is your standard plug flange on most boats or the uh, plastic oval, sure. which, depending on which boat you have. Right. So uh, basically we designed it to where People were complaining, they said, we love your product, it's a good product, but if we get debris in our boat, we can't get it to drain out. Sure, sure. And I said, well, yes, you can. With our product, this is our patented design and why it works so well. Wow. The end of the plug is turned around and used as a tool to unscrew the inner chamber of the safety plug. Okay. Insert, 
and you turn. No tools required. No tools required. No special it, tools. Everything's right there. Your wife, you, whoever can do it right at the light. My intern. Your intern. My intern. <laughs> <laughs> Unscrew counterclockwise several turns. Right. And the inner chamber is removed. And uh, that's what it looks like. It's got a check valve for a perfect seal. Wow. O-ring seal on the top. Protective screen on both ends to keep the big debris from getting in and causing damage to the unit. Sure. And also, I want to mention this is all lifetime warranty on all this product. 100% lifetime. 100%. Wow. And then to simply, and at this point in time, after your chamber is out, you get the normal plug hole like you'd have on a sure. normal drain plug. You can take a piece of wire, whatever you want to do, and rinse your boat out. Use our power washer, and it just right. blows everything out. Exactly. The back. Then you simply put the chamber back in. Can, can this thing be put in backwards? Uh, no, Don, it can't because uh, it was designed to unscrew counterclockwise, and it's a normal pipe threaded design. Okay. So when it's reinserted, it will not turn in. So it only goes. In it one only way. goes one way, Super. and that's clockwise. Super. And uh, what we like to recommend is to turn it in until it stops, and it's meant to turn in. Uh, Little resistance because it's meant to never come loose, right. vibration, what have you, when you're boating. Sure, sure. Until it stops and we back off eighth of a turn and, and you're done. You're basically done. Screw your plug back in and uh, you're good to go. Okay. Now, so. let me ask you a question about this. When, when I first heard about this, I heard about it from the manager at Walmart or the sporting goods lady, Jennifer, and she showed me this and I said, wow, a one way drain plug, that's awesome. Because there's an issue in Arizona, we have an aquatic, invasive aquatic species law now that requires all boaters to remove their drain plug prior to transporting their boat away from the water. So I asked Jennifer, I said, has this been approved by the Arizona Game and Fish Department? And Jennifer didn't know, so I contacted you and you told me that you had inquired but had not received anything about this. So I made an inquiry to the Game and Fish Department, sent them the information on this and said, hey, I'd like to know, does this comply with the law that said you had to, re had to remove the plug and let the water drain out? Subsequently, this was the end of May. Subsequently, in mid-June, I got a text back from Gene Elms, who's the head of law enforcement at Game and Fish, and he attached a, a, a text from Tom McMahon who is the Aquatic Invasive Species Program Coordinator. And in, the, in his uh, text, he said, this plug appears self-draining and would comply with Arizona law. So anybody that, that purchases this product in Arizona, this plug is legal. Correct. And I think it also includes uh, the state law. There's a uh, fine imposed on people that do not remove the drain plug when the boat sure. comes out of the water. I think with our product, they would not get fined. It, absolutely. We have issues down at the lake sometimes. Water splashes into the boat, and but that water is going back out. There's nothing down there for water to collect for those mussels to live in. And if it's dry, they're going to die. So you came all the way to Meadview, Arizona, installed a couple of them in our jet boat, we're going to take it down to Lake Mead, South Cove, and we're going to put it to the test. It's definitely something you're going to want to invest in as a boater. Now, where do you get them, George? Locally, uh, we're uh, available at 30 okay. locations throughout Arizona. Okay. And uh, there's a few local marinas in town that do sell it. Okay. So if you all want to purchase one of these and you're in Kingman, Kingman's got them because I've seen them there. And they are for sale there. Or is there some way they can order them online? Okay. did it take you to develop this? Our original design, Don, was a, if you look at the way the, uh, I'll use the chrome one, it's easier to see. Original design, if you remember how the chamber was originally removed, mm -hmm. it was one single piece. Sure. The original design was a two-piece chamber. Okay. We had the bottom cup with the ball, and the top piece was placed over the top of it, and we had a snap ring that held everything in. Okay. That was a good design, but the problem was when people got debris in the boat, People don't carry snap ring players with them in their boat no, uh -uh. or special tools to remove something to get in to have it drain. That's why we changed the design, and that was an extra year involved in that. Okay. We made a one-piece chamber for that specific reason. Okay. So that's and, and this is a patented product. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. It's All right. Very, so, it's folks, a take a look at this. It's called BoatWise. 
safety drain plug, and it's available all over Arizona. At the end of this show, I think you're going to be like everybody else. You're going to want to pick you up one for your boat. There's three different kinds. There's the brass, plastic, and the chrome one. Find the one that fits. It's going to take you 15 minutes to put in. It's going to save you a lot of heartache. Let's go do it. Damn, this lady's down. Ooh. Keep taking the plugs out, right? Yep. Okay, we're taking the plugs out. There's no water in the boat. Here are the plugs, they're going in my pocket. Yeah, it's in the water. Okay folks, we're back from the lake and as you saw on camera, this product worked perfectly. We took the plug out, no water came in. It performed exactly as it was supposed to. We actually ran water into the boat after we came back from the lake just to test to see, okay, we knew no water got in, but does the water actually get out? We ran water into that boat. It drained out exactly as that product was designed to do. I'm Don Martin, your host for Arizona Outdoors today, and I want to thank George for coming down and demonstrating this product. Thank you so much, George. I thank you for the opportunity, and uh, I want people to know that if they need more information on our product, they could feel free to visit our website at uh, www.boatwise.com. Okay. Boatwise with a Z. A lot of people use the S. Get a little confusing sometimes, but uh, they're welcome to visit the site. Okay. All right. I well, think. folks, it works. I suggest you go get one. They're not expensive at all. It's well worth it. If you've ever sunk your boat at the dock, you're going to find out that this product is what you want from now on. Until next week, Don Martin saying keep your fishing line fresh, your firearms oiled, and we'll see you on Arizona Outdoors today.